All right, we're back with another episode of Pressure. It's your girl, Alicia Jazzy Sweets and Treats, and I'm here with one of Baton Rouge's finest, T2. I'm about to whip up some chicken pasta from scratch. You know how I do it. We don't do nothing out the box, nothing out the can, or none of that shit. So, tell them what to find here, my G. On um, Instagram, the real T2, uh, D A R E A L T number two. On everything. Everything. So, that's Twitter. You have a website? Oh, yeah, everything? I got a website too. PiratesBaby.com, I got um, all my music on there, videos, merch. Oh, let's see, got a new line. He came his own Pirates, stop yeah. playing. Yeah, I drink out of mine. Oh, really? Yeah. So you go ahead and put my little shot glass to the shot. I'm going to offer you a shot. Yeah, I'll take a shot, but I'm going to drink it out of it. Y'all keep it locked in, stay tuned, and y'all get ready for this pressure. Toast your friends. another episode of Pressure with your girl Alicia Jazzy Sweets and Treats and I'm here with one of Baton Rouge Finest like I already told y'all T2 you heard me Pyrex yeah, baby in this That's thing you did all of that what's that saying boy. how yes. you doing brother I'm all right. how you doing I am in my element as long as I'm in this kitchen I'm good while me too you did I like I'm at home you too, too. Mm -hmm. let me find out you know how to cook oh uh, yeah what's your favorite thing to cook then everything I like to cook everything breakfast lunch what up? Okay, I'm a breakfast person too. Lunch, whatever, girl. Some people don't like bread. I, I like to cook everything. So before we get started, I'm just going to introduce you to everything that I have before you. And I want to let you know that in my kitchen, we wash everything and season everything. Everything got to be seasoned all the way down to the noodle water. Like right. You did, You oh, want yeah. the flavor to be enough. And you want to use our fresh ingredients. And when you're using any type of butter, you're going to use margarine or cream butter like unsalted or salted butter all that other little side blue butter and all that shit you don't even just butter. we ain't gonna hold you okay. here so we're gonna go ahead on and start with our tonies just because it's our home season and as you can see i do not measure anything i let the lord tell me when to stop yeah. like we, we we see it's raining out here right. now the lord is a little thunder if you don't stop jazz you feel yeah, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> i will go ahead on and add me a little onion powder and um you i'm just i just add small at first because you could put it in but you can't take right, it out right. so if we need to add more we'll do that i got some garlic going on right here another one of my secrets in the kitchen i'm gonna put you on right quick i don't know if you fuck with this but they're my best friend better than bouillon so i don't use water at all you know, you you got you the pyrex man we know i, I, like I gotta shit. use water though. we don't really like that water whip shit you yeah, know what i'm saying to. so <laughs> You, you gotta straight drop it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the type of I'm a straight drop kind of girl. I feel you feel? I feel you. So what I and you see everything real. We don't fool with none of them yeah. GMOs, none of that. We 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 want all I good go real. Ahead. That's right. We yeah. want real products. So um, that's actually one of my dreams. I want to have my own farm. I want to grow my own everything. Like yeah. I want to know what's being put into everything that I consume. So you say you know how to cook everything. No, nah, I ain't saying I know how to cook everything. I like to eat and cook. Oh, I like, I, I, like to, yeah. I don't know how to I cook everything. Say shit, I smell a cookout. Nah, yeah, shit, so, no. You know? Uh, I can cook. I can, I'll cook you in some shit, but you ain't fucking with me in that. But I'm going to stay on my line. cook is a real strong word, but I'm going to let you make it because you're a guest. You said I what? You said I can outcook you. Yeah, and some shit. I thought that's what you said. Yeah. That's incorrect. That's okay. a strong word now. All right. Now, okay, we got the network. Uh, we'll have a whole cook off going on. I don't win a better cook off like that on now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, put you up one then. Put you up one then, Jazzy. You hear me? So, um, how did you get started into the music? While I'm doing my little season this for us. I, I always like like music since I was a kid. I always like music, listening to it. My brother used to rap. 
Really? Uh, yeah, my older brother on my dad's side. Okay, so is there a certain genre other than rap that you would prefer as far as to get into a zone? I don't really like listening to rap. Like talking really? about, I like I like R and B, uh, reggae, um, uh, I, I, I like I listen to everything. I listen to country music. I listen to all kinds of music. You have to. It's just like everything. your religion in order yeah. to know what everything else like. You, you have gotta to try. study yeah. other religions. A lot of people yeah. don't know that, so it's very good. I don't listen to that. Yeah, so um, anybody influenced you music-wise? There had a lot of influences music-wise. Um, Master P, okay. you know, No Limit, uh, Cash Money. They came later, but Master P, 8 Ball, MJG, like 3 okay. Six Mafia, uh, Loop, okay. Too, too Short. Yeah. yeah, I was on all Okay, you like me. I'm old school. Yeah. I be feeling old sometimes because a lot of people don't know about none of that stuff. Yeah. That's, I want to put too you bad on this too. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, y'all. So this is Weber's Kicking Chicken. They make a bunch of different seasonings, like a steak seasoning. Uh, it's a bunch of different seasons that they make. Yeah, I ain't on that. Ooh. Ooh, precious. Thank you. This that shit, though. This this that shit. And another one, they have like a Chicago uh, steak and a Montreal steak. That Montreal steak busting, you can really put it on anything. I really, I tried to. Um, I try to sample different seasons. Like if it's for a chicken, I might put it on turkey or whatever like that. You know, just to see how it's going, you know, yeah. what it's on here for. And it's usually really good. So why we got our uh, skillet hot? And that's another thing about me. I like to warm everything. Like even with bacon and stuff like that, you know, you got to get your skillet hot first. Right. You can't just put the bacon in the skillet and start frying. You have to let it get hot. Why? Why? What's the difference? Because, I mean, it's going to be full of grease. Like, it's going to sit and soak in grease. If you let your skillet get hot, as soon as it hit that skillet, yeah. it's going to crinkle up. Oh, all right. Yeah, that part. So, this is our, like I said, unsalted. I mean, this is salted. But it's cream, real butter. Yeah. So, we're just going to add our butter and we're going to add our fresh peppers. This is onion, parsley. We're going to do bell peppers. Red peppers and we're gonna do fresh green onion. Okay. We need all this. Okay. So we're gonna get that going. Now I like um dried parsley, but I use it more as a garnish than inside of my food. I like to have that fresh because and then I like Italian parsley, it's two different kinds of parsley. Italian parsley, it hit different, it's real good with pasta. I ain't never used that ever before. What, Italian parsley? No, uh, no kind of, none of that. Parsley? Really? Yeah. And you cook like that? I just cook oh. shit, but I like. So what you like? <laughs> <laughs> I like spaghetti. I like, uh, what else I like? Uh, what you like? I'm just saying. I'm a dude. Man, we I like spaghetti. Here, this man I like, hold on, you gonna let me tell you? Oh, the rest of it? I apologize. Uh, Let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, what else? Uh, I'm cooking my own self, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, trying to stone my spaghetti. My shit tastes good. So what you put in your spaghetti? I bet you can't fuck with my spaghetti. See, I will have to see. I put meatballs, shrimp. And, okay, that's and, basic. Keep it going. What else? I mean, I don't eat all that meat. I don't need to do all that. The oh, taste is going to do it okay. itself. Shit. What you put in there? Sausages and wieners and shit? I don't wieners. Oh, okay. I'll try to make so. All right. All right. I, I put sausage, chicken. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm old. See, school. I like the fried chicken, chicken on the side. I, ain't, I don't want to put no, it in there. No, when it's in there, it's different. But I'm going I'm to I'm I'm bless your game one day. Give you some real spaghetti. Damn. You heard me? I ain't gonna hold it. So all these years, my spaghetti been fake. <laughs> That's what you're saying? <laughs> oh my God. So, I know you're a smoker. Yeah. When you get ready to smoke, well, you done smoked, and you and your lady, y'all chilling, and your stomach growling like a motherfucker. What's your next move? If you gonna fix up. If I'm gonna go fix up? Yeah. Shit. Uh, what my, you would ask for your girl to cook? Soul food, like some soul food or some. Uh, Man, I'm talking about munchy food. Like I'm munchy food eat right now. Let's so right something now, together, babe. Probably like a some either some fried shrimp or something like that, fish and shrimp and fried like a salad. Uh, okay. Breakfast. That's that'd be fast. Okay. Yeah, if I got the muscles like that, yeah. yeah. So um, just because I like to have all my seasons commingling at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add my bed in the bouillon. But what I was going to so tell you about like? this, this just 
like it if like it was what? chicken bro in a without the water you feel me? okay and it come like i said it come in every different uh different kind of flavors and it, it hit different it's like if i was to add water to any dish which i don't I would have to cut it with this. Like this would have to be infused into the water. I would never add just straight water. water yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything has to have a flavor. It's what I'm saying. Like I said, we're going to season everything. So I'm going to just give me a little spoonful. Like I said, I don't do no measuring. But since I'm not doing too much today, if I was doing a bigger pot, I'd probably, you know, add more. Yeah. It smells good. I ain't know. Yeah, see, I ain't yeah. no chef like that. You're a chef. I just like to cook. Cause you tried to play on well, the Well, see, that's how, it, that's how it all started out. That's I can cook to survive and, and, and feed my house. No, nah, everybody will be happy in my house. We ain't gonna be little. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Are you a picky eater? Yep. How picky? I don't eat beans. I don't eat dressing. I don't eat greens. I don't eat oysters. I, don't, I ate them in jail, but I don't eat them now. Um, Wait, who you ate in jail? Oysters. I know you lying to eat like that in jail. I'm oh, in yeah. a can, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not, no, not okay, the parents. You just about when they send you off when you're gone. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, what what led you to saying, hey, I'm going to leave all this bullshit alone and I'm going to just put my all into my craft? Because it seemed like you take your music seriously. Yeah, um, shit, take the time away from my kids, really, like going back and forth to jail and stuff like that. It. That right there, and, and for the seat, like when you the bread one of your family and shit like that, mm -hmm. if you ain't really got your shit together and you go to jail, see, your girl will be out here sucking dick if you ain't got your shit together. You, you know what I'm saying? It. Just to try to make shit, uh, make shit shake. So, that. you you gotta have your shit together. So, with that, been, like, I ain't want my kids to, I want them to live up the certain kind of, like, they, the same way they live while I'm out here, I need them to be able to live like that or in any kind of way. So, it was time for me to. Stop trying to just impress, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers who don't really care about nothing because they going to disappear when you're gone. I promise you. And then just really focus on doing shit that's going to make it make it work for my kids, you know what I'm saying, so my children can have some shit. Absolutely. So that's what, that's what... When you become a parent, it just hit different for you. You can still live your life and mm -hmm. uh, do, you know, whatever you want to do, you can still do it. A lot of people feel like a being a parent is a death sentence. You know what I'm saying? But it really just gonna change you and motivate you and it goes it can make and it can break you. Yeah, yeah. So it ain't built, yeah. it, I mean it can. It's, it's not for the week. It's not for the week. So traveling wise, how many places have you traveled? I've been um I've been traveling since I was little, so there ain't too many places I, I ain't been out of the country yet. As you can see I added our chicken to the pot. She said you haven't been out the country no, yet. No, I ain't been out the country. I'm a um. Folk, hopefully, I'll be down there ready by my birthday. I've been to get my passport stuff together, so I'm out parole. I ain't on none of that no more. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So, so I'd have been in a lot of different places. Okay, so being that you've traveled uh, a lot of different places, what is the closest thing that you can say? Hey, this this man, this brought me back to VR. This tastes like home. Um, nothing. <laughs> but, like, no, I'm a, I ain't trying to let's cap no, it. Like no, I'm no, just no. saying I, nothing. I agree 100%. Nothing. I travel and yeah. I've been a lot of different places and it's nowhere. Hey, no, nothing, nothing never told, like never made me feel like I was at home unless, unless I went there and somebody from home was there cooking it. That's the only way. Yeah. yeah. But other yeah. than that, like your auntie that moved yeah, to Texas right, or right. the A or something, she mm -hmm. doing her shit. Everybody cook different. Yeah. I would, I see my partner. Room. And, and like in Miami, they had some shit going on, and uh, it was supposed to be gumbo. They had crawfish, the whole damn crawfish in oh, there. Fuck no. I'm like, what? I don't even feel like crawfish go in gumbo. No, crawfish don't. has an acquired. I'm taste. talking about the whole crawfish though, like Not the, whole the crawfish. head, the shell, oh, the everything, body. the whole oh, no. crawfish. Oh no, they was not lying, and I wouldn't have trusted nothing else they put put in my face after that. So Miami, let's talk about it. Anybody, uh, Trick Daddy, you ever tried his Oh, food? yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We went to, um, I just left him down there last, a week ago. Okay. I ate, uh, Trick Daddy got the, Trick Daddy got the best food I had down there. I ain't gonna lie. The so, Kool-Aid, all this shit. What's the, if I'm going to Miami, what, what would you suggest for me from Trick Daddy's back? Cause Trick look like he cooked. He look yeah, like, oh, trick, trick the truth. Like that wrist. Yeah. Um, you know? I ate, and I eat it again. Like, I know that's what's gonna be my go-to thing. I ate the baked turkey wings. Mm -hmm. With some yellow rice and had shrimp in it. Oh yeah. With some um yams and corn. Oh that sounds good. Yeah. 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 Ye
good. With a big Kool Aid. Uh, sounds good. They say that Kool Aid be busting. Yeah, pro- so what was it like um, being on the road with Trill? Being on the road, you got to be built to be on the road with Trill. Like, Trill like was the death row, uh, the Trill like death row. So <laughs> hey, like, it's fun. Don't get it. Like, it's you got to be built though. You know what I'm saying? Like them dudes ain't. That shit ain't no, yeah, 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 them ain't no industry dudes, you know what I'm saying? So, right. you, if you really wasn't like that, then you wouldn't even last on the door. But I learned a lot from um, Turk and Mel, because Mel, Turk signed Fox. I mean, okay. Fox was, um, we was, we were probably some, like, when I moved to Glenos in 97. Because I'm from, I was born in Scotland, I moved to Glenos in 97. So, me and Fox got cooled in, and and he got signed to Trill, I went to Grand Lane, too. He got oh, some. we got somebody else in this motherfucker from Grambling. That's what y'all what's doing. You, what's wrong? Southern, anyway. Man, it's a southern thing. I mean, yeah. that's the home team, but you know, Grambling, you had to be the. Okay, the, so you know, it, you got to be the. Because we gonna be that whole southern. Well, it's, it's cool. I understand. As long as you ain't, you know. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. So look, what I want to do next, as you can see, I added the noodles to the water. I have that boiling, and that's another thing I would like to, uh, to suggest. Make sure your water's already boiling before you add your noodles. Yeah. It just makes more sense. You don't want stuff just sitting in sitting the pot, in right. just, you know, stewing, because it'll make the noodles soggy. And noodles, they absorb water. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want it to just, so. We're going to add our butter in here, which we're going to make our sauce. Now, a lot of people do their uh, fettuccine different. But it's so simple, you don't need no jar. Everything you're going to do with the jar, you just wait, and then you pour it in there, the same thing, you can pour it in there. So you get your real butter, you let your butter melt down a little bit, or if you're impatient, you can go ahead on and add your milk, but you adding half and half, okay? Half and half. Half and half. You're going to add half and half, you're going to add fresh Parmesan, and you can top it with your grated Parmesan, but I don't, I, you can cook it with this. I, I grew up with people using it like, doing it like this with the grated, but I feel like it's much better with the fresh. Yeah. You know, it just hit different. You, the freshness, and I feel like, um, Growing up, they were trying to be a little more cost efficient. They didn't want to spend it, so that's a little cheaper, and it'll go along the way. So I feel like, but I feel like that's a great garnish to top it after you do your little, you know, not just to be in it all. So our chicken looking really yeah, good. Sure, yeah. I ain't never ate this before, not from scratch, I don't think. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to make it simple, because at I the ain't. end of the day, you could get a little jar of that stuff, and you, it look like this Alfredo sauce in here, but you don't even, it could say whatever it want, but. We can put you can put your anything on your package. You heard me right. like on fucking uh uh American Gangster. He say if it's don't put, put blue magic on it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But anybody could go they can take it and do whatever they want to. Just like the corner stores, they add they little taxes on there. I just paid two dollars for one pack of goodies yesterday. That shit. Uh, don't smoke. Jazzy at work. That shit touched my soul. I'm sorry, but that I was really affected by that. Cause two dollars and the pack say one sixty four and I, mm -hmm. I say the pack say one sixty four one forty nine. He said, "Well, this my price." I said, "Well, keep uh, this retail. shit." Reset. Reset. Hey, I'm doing that with the with the G nights now. They go buy all the G nights from the places, then try to sell them. Oh yeah. Sell them best for one eighty. I'm like, shit. Well, I'm gonna order straight from Nike. Fuck y'all. Shit no. Put out the middleman. Without doing candles when I came. Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's half and half. That's half and half. And like I said, we are gonna season everything. So this one of my little. Favorite little seasons, and just because I want this one, it's a secret season. I ain't. I got a secret season too. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. Everybody got their little, you know what I'm saying? But I add that in there because I want my sauce to kind of be. I ain't hit it. So, like I said, we're going to season everything. You want your sauce to be creamy and full of flavor. So, we're going to add some of these same seasons that we put into our chicken, into our sauce. Because the way I do my pasta, I lace my noodles first and then I add my meat on the top. You can mix it in however you want, but I like pretty food. Yeah. And I just feel like all those pretty popping colors, if you drape that on top of that white, oh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, it just looks better to me. So, while we let that cook down, let me turn this up down a little bit because I don't want to overcook myself. Precious. <laughs>
everything is smelling good. Our noodles look they are like they are all tender. So let's check this pasta. But anything you got new coming out that I need to be looking out for? Yeah, I got um, I got my um, my tape mm -hmm. on the drop called drug, called dope language. Mm -hmm. Called dope language. I got um, a nice. This is gonna be this. Gonna, this is my third tape right here. But, but this is gonna be my first one dropping with no nothing hanging over my head. Where I yeah. can really just do everything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, so are you independent now? Or what's I, going I, on? I ain't never had. I ain't never been with nobody. I always did my own okay. everything. Talk to me. I, I do everything myself. So. I got that going on for the drop mine. Uh, I just did, we took a break today so I could do this, but tomorrow I'm shooting, finish shooting the video. I got Drug Language, the name of the song, for the yeah. Go For The Album. It's my intro. I'm, uh, I'm doing this, it's gonna be like seven minutes. It's gonna be like a mini movie video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm gonna do dope. that. I like good visuals. Like, I need it to be interesting because they got a lot of dry videos. Uh, Anybody can get a gun and stand there right. and talk shit. And we ain't doing I that. I feel like that's so lame. I ain't did now one of my videos. And was, this is called for us. So like, yeah. I like uh, good content. I like the. I got a good uh, imagination and shit like that. I like cool. to create stories and write and do, do stuff like that. So I want to do movies at the end, though. See, that's why I'm a huge fan of Missy Elliott. Yeah. Because her visuals always something different. Yeah. Tiana Taylor, yeah. she good yeah, with she visuals. Probably, yeah. She like she cold in the game. So if it's anybody in the industry that you could work with that you haven't worked with thus far, who would that be? I'm straight out of this. Why you think on that? In the industry right now? Yeah. yeah. Um. See, everybody will say Jay Z, cause you know Jay Z. Well, Jay Z show. retired, right? Right. But so it. All right. So. I'm gonna probably have to go. Because um, I don't even like Jay Z. If you was to choose Jay Z or Nas, but you can type to your own. I'm gonna go. No, with I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it straight though. I'm gonna I'm gonna like if somebody I really could work with, I'll probably say like Yo Gatta. Pressure. Yeah, I say Yo Gatta. I think that'd be dope. Yeah, I say Yo Gatta. I think that'd be I dope. Ain't gonna lie to you. So let me ask you this: um, What influenced the name T Two Pyrex Baby? What influenced that? How you came up with that? Um, I got the name on the road. With boosting them, okay. And we was, you know, a lot of drug, drug days, killing days, and <laughs> throwing back two by twos and all that kind of stuff like that. So they kind of, okay. you know, what I'm saying. And then once the Pyrex baby thing came about, you know. And let's not get them confused. That's yeah, yours. That's, yeah, that's yours. Oh, all right. Let me put mine to the side. You can take your shot glass. Oh shit! And yeah, let me get my last shot glass. So the that Pyrex, so well. on, the Pyrex came from. I was thinking of the name to, to call my first tape, mm -hmm. and then my, me and my brother was like, he was like, but you always got that jaw, and, and you always, well, you might as well be the Pyrex baby, that's how you, you own it. So I'm like, you, you right. So I named the whole company that, you know what I'm saying, Pyrex baby, so the whole right. label, everything. So I <laughs> ran with it, and then, and like, it just stuck since I was little. I always liked it, from eating cereal out of drinking Kool-Aid, sugar water, all kind of shit. You just said Pyrex baby, that's yeah. all. Uh -huh. So, um... Not to cut you off, I just want to show you that I'm going to add some more of our cream butter. Yeah. Why? Because we're going to add another agent, and another agent is going to be cheese. So every time you add something, you know, you want it to connect, but you don't want it to be like gunky. Right. So that, that cream going to keep it creamy. And we may not even use all these cheese right now. Because again, like I said, you can put it in, but you can't take it out. Right. So whenever you cooking anything, under not over. Yeah. Like I gotta use, uh, don't use too much water, but then you gotta wait. Then you can add the water, but you can't take the water out of it. Damn right. Uh, That's right. I, I, I got already you. know I that. Yeah, I already but you, know. But you know, you you dry. I mean, you straight drop. So <laughs> you, you, don't, you ain't the microwave girl. You're a stove girl. Yes. I understand. Yes. But I want to get a lot of my ladies on that because it's so easy to cook something really fast. Right. That's fresh. You could do a stir fry. I, you grilling shrimp, you grilling fresh vegetables, cauliflower, whatever. I like asparagus, so I would do like a stir fry with something with asparagus and carrots and all my favorite veggies. I'm gonna put that together. I'm gonna lace them up with some seasoning and I'm gonna do because I don't eat chicken. That's not the story. But I'm shrimp, anything like that. I'm uh, crawfish, something like that. It's going to be Why don't you eat chicken? I just don't like it. Uh, I'm just over the chicken thing. I don't know why. It's big. I just feel like I'm a conspiracy theorist. 
to a certain degree too, and that's a whole nother episode. So, why are you gonna cook me some chicken if you ain't gonna eat? Because you not against chicken. You oh, eat chicken. Okay. I know you want to pop out. I'm just saying, but if you got a conspiracy theory, I'd be on that too. So, well, if you tell my me son eat chicken. I'm not gonna pressure anybody into anything that I don't like. He don't eat a lot of it. But if we if we riding or something like that, and we I'm like, what you want to do? He said, raise the games. That's the first thing coming to his mind is raise the games. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. You know, you know yeah. but I, I don't mind going get him there because I know it's real food. Right, right. So, if, we, if I can't get in the kitchen for you, I got to eat some Yeah, right. Food. You got to feed him. Yeah. So, uh, what I really want to do, though, is I want to add my noodles to my sauce. Okay. Or I can add my sauce to my noodles. Okay? Oh, is the sauce made already? Okay. Just a second. And which? Yeah. So, um, if y'all want to come get a good look at this chicken, and see how that chicken look up close, because they can, if they had camera, I ain't lying. Smell, they can smell that shit. Smell good. You know, but this is our chicken and how it's looking like. It, it. Oh yeah. But the uh, the whole aroma is just basically. The fresh vegetables. Most, most definitely. It, it, it's something about those fresh vegetables that do something completely different to your whole life. Give me that little towel. That smells so good. It's a chicken kick. Yes, yeah, so I see you got your um, kids with you. Uh, Full time dad, tell me what that was like. How old is your uh, oldest? My oldest son is 14. 14? Uh, 14, 9. I bet they be like telling everybody, you know my dad is such and such. Man, you know, you the, the one that. that's with me right now, he think he me. Oh, let me tell you something. Before I started this interview, let me tell you something. He had already introduced himself. He told me what he liked. I really want to interview the man. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like he need his he need his own uh, platform. Uh, I'm just adding a little bit of this because um that fresh parmesan is not enough. Yeah. So I'm just adding this as a thick man agent. Because we want our cheese, I mean our pasta sauce to be really creamy and we just gonna let that lock in together with each other and get thick. We don't have this on the high. We don't have this on low. So we're going to let this cook down a little bit. And when we come back, it's going to be all plated up and mm. ready to go. And I'm, I am just want to see how he going to feel about it. Can't wait to see. It smells good. It right? and look good. Yeah, and that's the key thing. You got to look good. Now we smell good. We look good. Now we just got one more gotta bridge to cross. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have that flavor. So, um, we're gonna just be back in a second. Y'all keep it live. Fresh. Y'all locked and loaded, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let me turn your fork the right way in. Yes, 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 Add on in. You could mix it up, you could just take it, just take that bit down. That's great shit. A good profit, I ain't gonna lie. All right. Anything you feel like you would have done different, Mr. Chef? What you would have done? Had a salad and some French, some French bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Yeah. I can't argue with that. Uh, Why well, yeah. I got a fire is um, <laughs> cool toast that. I make, and it's a big person yeah. Kool-Aid. Yeah. So I can offer you a Sprite or 1800 or a Coke Cherry. How you feel? Oh, uh, Sprite. Gotcha. Okay. Well, y'all, as you can see, he feeling it. He fucking with it. You heard me? Wife ain't said shit. You know, when people be quiet, that mean you might be straight. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, so, 
I'm gonna go ahead on and leave with that. That is fine with me. And I just want to thank you to T2. Excuse me, my words get jumped up. For gracing me with your presence you. and being Bless real with me about with the lick rig with the food. And I ain't gonna hold you. We ain't gonna record you all day because we'll get you now. <laughs> We're gonna let you enjoy that though. Like it, like I said, I appreciate you. I wish you nothing but the best. Anything new that you have coming up, I will be following you. And um just big ups to all your success. I'm and gonna I'm gonna get ready to um shoot some more videos and you know, we be, we cater at it. We get caters at some of the things. So if you wanna come just lock in with me. Come fuck with I, us. I would love to. Why you battle league? I'm Bet. resident. I'm there. So you Be know, nice. I'm with that. Just Fucking let right. me know. Gotcha. All right. Well, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to Pressure, Jazzy, and T2. Y'all keep it locked in. It's BR Love up in this bitch. You understand me? Home team. So, y'all keep it locked in and stay tuned for the next episode. Pressure.